I will insert the gain match plugin. It automatically sets itself to before. Copy this plugin to after. You see, this is seven decibels louder. Click here, and that's it. You can control this knob without opening this plugin. You can give more gain. You can also link them so that when you add more gain, the output is automatically decreased. Hey guys, Ilya here. I want to talk about the gain matching today. There are several tools that can help you do the job. The first one and probably the most famous is the Perception by Meter Plugs. Another one that should be mentioned is the ABLM by uh, TB Pro Audio. This is a much more affordable tool for the Ableton Live. I don't think it works in other hosts. M Compare by Melda Production. There is also a plugin by Hornet Plugins. There is another one that does something similar. And there is also a tool for the Reaper, which is free. This is the GS plugin. And I'm sure all of these tools are great in what they do. But the plugin I want to talk about today is the new plugin for game matching. I think it combines all the best features and I hope it is much more user friendly as well. So let me show you. Here I have a project of a song, uh, a cover song we did a few years ago. This vocal, main vocal, has a lot of plugins. For sure they should make this vocal much better. You see, this is SSL, CLA, etc. Sound Toys, Oxford. Let us listen before and after. Kiss me, I love the beauty, Bali, nightly. When I engage the green, green. these plugins, it sounds so much better. But let's not fool ourselves with this loudness difference. I will insert the gain match plugin, one before. It automatically sets itself to before. You see, this is a very clean interface. You can just copy this plugin to after and in a moment it sees there is another before plugin and it sets itself to after. We can close the before. Now let's listen to this piece of audio. Kiss me, I love the beauty you see this is seven decibels louder. Click here green, green grass, swing, swing. and that's it. Swing the spinning step. Now we can hear you wear those shoes and, I will and compare wear the, the sound dress. on the oh, same loudness. Kiss me. Now what Bring do you think about it? Lead me. On the moonlit floor, lift your open. I think the vocal before sounded maybe even better. It sounded more open. Let's listen once again. Kiss me. By the way, we can use this listen before button here. Beside the green, green grass. This is before. Swing, swing. Swing the spinning step. Yeah, the, the sound just got a bit duller. Maybe something good also happened. It is a bit compressed, etc. But do we really need all these plugins? Do they all enhance the sound? I'm not sure today. By the way, we listened to the sound before using this button. There's a delay. Kiss me. Because I some of these plugins the introduce the delay. Nightly. If we click on this button, this green, green grass, swing, the delay swing. will be auto calculated and compensated. You wear those shoes and I now we can listen. Definitely, the, the before sounds much cleaner and much more open. Okay, let's have an example on the master fader. Let's enable the image here, copy it to the bottom. Let's take a listen. Okay, the sound is 15 decibels louder. Let's enable the auto mode. goes down slowly, okay, and we can listen without fooling ourselves. Okay, yeah, it's green now. 
if the level changes more than one decibel you can see the settings here it starts to change the level but we can set this gain tolerance so that auto mode doesn't work all the time only if there is a significant change in gain now I think that before sounds not so good is much better more open more present so luckily on the master bus we did the right choices here we have the acoustic guitars and one of them is definitely softer than another let's compensate for this quickly I have inserted one plugin and I make it left and another plugin obviously goes to the right we are measuring the left and applying it to the right let's enable the auto mode and maybe engage the right button you see it automatically compensates for the guitar that is softer and adjust the gain and it is on the same level now we can now turn it off and see the automation it did for us disable the right mode definitely now guitars are better balanced it happens so often that you have two guitar tracks recorded one is slightly louder you can of course do it manually but it is so much easier to use this plugin listen to this bass after and before okay but when we listen before there's a little mix control under the listen button what it does it lets us decide how much before signal we want and this is the mix of the before and after of the whole chain of plugins in some cases it might be a very cool trick and also you can transfer the audio from one channel to another you can put this after plugin onto another channel enable the listen mode there and you will get the audio from this point and to another point isn't it interesting we should try it someday here's another cool trick you can right click and use the display before knob now let me show you you can control this knob without opening this plugin you can give more gain to your guitar without opening this before instance you can also link them so that when you add more gain the output is automatically decreased and vice versa you can decrease it manually if you need this is a very cool trick to test compressors to test limiters saturation plugins this is just nice that it is so easy and it is there when you need it there is so much more that you can customize here you can display the time to change the speed of auto adjustment and of the measurement you can drag groups just like this to connect plugins one to another quickly and easily i want to just show you another option that you'll maybe find useful as a guitar player i usually have a template a set of plugins that i use to process the bass or the guitar tracks and i want my input into this chain to be identical and for this you can use another mode of this plugin it is called target loudness mode you don't need two instances for that just one instance this is like you set the loudness that you want your level to be at you play your track you can either do it manually or enable the auto mode this way every time you process your guitar or bass with your chain of plugins with your typical chain you will process it with the same level that's it for today guys i hope you like this plugin you can download it and 
try for 14 days and I am sure it will save you a lot of time, a lot of CPU and will make your mixes sound so much better and help you make better decisions. That's all for today, see you next time, bye bye.